I didn't want to like it. <laughs> I peeked up over an edge and it fired and I seen my knock just disappear right behind the pin. When you can beat a bow up, and then stand there at 100 yards with broadheads and it hits just like it did three weeks ago. You don't have one click in the wind, there's nothing. How is this not something that's been done forever? Right. Because it's, it's perfect. This thing's already had a full season under it. I mean, it looks like it's two years old. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen blood and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't normally clean them. It's pretty much character at this point. And every time I get to a new place and I take it out of the case and put the pieces together and it hits the dot yeah. and it's good, I build a little more confidence. Sure. And every time I, you know, drag it through the rocks and shoot an animal at 80 yards, it's a little more confidence. And so, I mean, it's early in the year still and I feel like I'm as confident with this thing as I've ever been, um, just for the simple reason that it's not moved since I put it together. You know, and it is a little bit of a trust. I, we, you know, I trust you guys um, because you're also shooters. You don't just make a product, you know, sure. to make it. When you can beat a bow up and then stand there at 100 yards with broadheads and it hits just like it did three weeks ago. You don't have one click in the wind, there's nothing. I mean, it's just everything there's so many moving parts and everything is staying put i mean this was maybe the quickest i ever and maybe i just got lucky but i literally eyeballed it and my first arrow was a bullet hole with a bear shaft and i told samantha i said i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad <laughs> thing <laughs> hopefully that wasn't too easy so uh no dude it's been a it's been a, a pleasure to shoot and hunt with this thing so this year we had two models obviously they're built to do different things Talk to me quick about why you chose, which one you chose and why you chose that. Yeah, I chose the longer one. Um, just because I shoot tournaments from January to August all year, every year since I was five years old, pretty much. And they're normally a longer platform bow, uh, like the TRX series, TRX 40 is what I'm shooting now. And mm -hmm. it's probably my favorite all time competition bow. And so what I try to do to make that transition a little smoother and easier for me, um, because it, it's like a couple week transition. I got to move from a tournament bow to my hunting rig and, and yeah. shoot it well. Uh, I try to build like a little mini tournament rig. And, and that's what I love about this, that long riser. Um, and I shoot long for hunting bars and just the whole setup kind of looks like a little mini uh, tournament rig. And, it, and honestly, I feel like I could shoot this bow in tournaments and do pretty well with it. Uh, so <laughs> it does feel a lot like my tournament bows and I like that and that's why I went with the longer bow. I've shot the shorter ones. I shot the Triax and, mm -hmm. and shot it well. Um, it is a little different. It's not uncomfortable. It's just different with the peep angle or the string angle and, yeah. and my anchor and everything. And so I try to just get as close to what I shoot all year as possible. Well, and that speaks totally to the long riser, short axle to axle. You know, the goal is to get the most stable, rigid mm -hmm. platform in a compact hunting rig. Right. I mean, if you look at the riser length on the bow you're shooting, the 31, that is super close to your TRX 40. Yeah. And it's just the different limb angles, how much we're stressing these, because we're getting performance out of it. We mm -hmm. got to make it feel good. And, but we're still trying to maximize that riser length. And that's exactly what that does. Yeah. You know, my style is different. I shoot the 27, but it's because the 27 has a riser that feels longer than that number. That yeah, number yeah. would freak some people out, I think. But um, this system and the technology that's built into it lends itself to something that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And that's why it would freak somebody out because they just never seen it before. But the, the technology of a long riser and super rigid lends itself to stuff that we've never been able to do before until now. Yeah, I love, <clears throat> I love the changes of cable load. You know, I, and like the VXR was my favorite bow of all time. Yeah. And I, I was just said it all year, I dreaded getting the new bow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna be honest, I was dreading <laughs> it because I loved that VXR. I had yeah. so much confidence in it. And I was, I was like, I didn't want to like it. <laughs> That's good. I, I was like, every time I walked by my VXR, I was just like. <laughs> That's uh, what we're talking you know. about. I mean, you had a year's worth of experience and it was a great bow and still mm -hmm. is. Um, but it's just having that critical eye that what we try to do is just what about this great bow can be even right. better and you mentioned the the roller garments mm -hmm. it, it's something simple that seems obvious now but having those cables in the same angle where yeah. the cams are timed perfectly mm -hmm. now i mean it makes all the difference and it's one of the reasons why you could pull it out of the box and shoot a right. bullet hole right out of it for sure and it's one of those things it's like how is this not something that's been done forever right because it's it's 
perfect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like right. that's right where it should be. Exactly. It definitely made that whole platform better. Um, so yeah, man, I, I, you guys make my job easy whenever you send something like this because it was, it's been like I said, a pleasure to tune, shoot, just keep staying put, and I got a ton of confidence in it already. Last year I talked about it with the VXR. I just felt like it was probably the best under pressure hunting bow mm -hmm. I'd ever had, and this just kind of got a little better. And that's same with the TRX. So I've had bows in the past, competition and hunting bows that would shoot great practicing, yep. even qualifying, but when that pressure got like real and you got the little bit of the shakes, everything started to break down, your your pin movement went to this, <laughs> your groups went to that, like it just was a nightmare. And and that's a good way to tear all your confidence down. Right. You know, and you're like, well, even if I get that opportunity, am I gonna be able to shoot well under that sure. kind of pressure? And what I noticed right away with the VXR and even more so with the V3, is that it shoots just as well, if not better, in those moments. You know, whenever I feel my heart rate pick up, my wrist starts to quiver, that pin just sits there and it's got that little quiver. And I really remember the moment with this bow <laughs> that it clicked and I realized this is the real deal, it's a shooter. And it was in Montana on my mule deer hunt. I peeked up over an edge and the deer we were after is feeding away in a ditch the wind's blowing 15 to 20 and I clicked him, he's 85. And I was like, Whew. you know, my heart oh. rates up and my guide's looking at me like, what are you waiting for, you know? <laughs> and so I was like, all right, I dialed my sight, I got the wind direction and I pulled back and I remember everything, I felt so nervous, but the pin went right where I wanted it and it just sat there and kind of quivered. And it fired and I seen my knock just disappear right behind the pin and it was like, Man, you know, I've had bows in the past that that just would not have happened. Oh, and everything's against you, downhill, oh, yeah. wind. Angle, everything. Yeah. And so it's just another thing about these bows, and I think it has a lot to do with the whole platform, the long riser, the stiffer riser. Everything about it just lends it to be such a forgiving setup in an extreme pressure moment, yeah. which is what everybody has to have because exactly. you're using this bow to hunt, and you put all the time, all the effort in to getting that one opportunity. And you need a bow that can perform when you're a nervous wreck. Exactly, it's yeah. gotta play the way it practices. Yeah, and this definitely does that. <laughs>